niggas from sitcom. I got my nigga Pippin Young. Yeah, he gon' spread it down. And sugar free. About to spread you niggas down too. And come and get your hair for fuck the dog. supposed to have that that like button man uh come on now yeah y'all playing with the game man come on get them likes up you already know what it is matter of fact i'm gonna give y'all a little time play another one come on let's go <laughs> Without a warning at all In the middle of all these busted ass niggas swarming my balls This morning I got a call Yo Freeze, it's the kid K-E-K-O On your line I'll let you know I'm not here for your stable Now the first one of them bitches to get out of pocket was that nigga sent the lie The same hoe, he fucking with Polo the Bozo the reason that Pimpin died Now this is some real shit Freeze, I gotta reveal this I promised to get her some dentures in that whole sip and lie chose real quick Now Max is Johnny Trash That chocolate hope so thick That bitch was adding growth to my dick Cause I was watching Johnny's ass I know Johnny's a blast And I know she likes suckers So like the chicken I plucked it Because I can't wait to fuck her Now Johnny came home with a wifey hoe to face me I think you call her stanky danky lowercase p Now I wasn't too excited for Danky to choose me That fat bitch is too friendly And she the choosiest Susie now you got the largest action at him regardless But if I catch you harassing my bitches freeze I'm pressing charges Oh, you thought I switched? No, I'm forever a snitch Now you just been served by folks that hurt you, bitch Damn, fake gorilla mask wearing rapist Damn, 
Fake gorilla mask wearing rapists. Damn. Fake gorilla mask wearing rapists. Damn. Fake gorilla mask wearing rapists. Clyde the dope fiend swallowing dope. Who never knew the meaning of water nor soap. Never was in the toothpaste, so never had a toothbrush. And when it come to putting on clean, draw that dusty nigga, get two fucks. Sipping lobbers, walking on the Vegas strip one day. Trying to buy some weed, but the weed girls say go away. Sipping like get mad. Sipping like won't beef. Now gangsta crib niggas is playing soccer with his teeth. Stroke one, stroke two, lying on the ground, can't move. Stroke three, stroke four, left hand works no more. You ought to quit, cause you don't really want no part of this. Started it, knowing damn well you can't even ball a fist. Sorry, bitch, you and Danky P, the most desperate niggas I know. Your hand dead, his eye dead, this is your funeral. All Danky want for Christmas is a backbone. So next time a hoe spit in his face, he ready to smack hoes. All Danky want for Christmas is a capital P. So all his peers will look at him as an actual P. Striving for acceptance from Chucky and capital B. In your head like, why these niggas always laughing at me? You niggas best run along, go on about your merry way. Play with that nigga who celebrate Halloween every day. Cause I stop heads on the rifle. My devastation causes separation from your head and your vitals. You niggas is dead on the rival. Nigga, I'm on beef for no gangbanger. East side of no lane changer. Turn up this presentation to the presentation. Lace and make her a game changer. I'm who you niggas really wanna be. Ask Johnny who she think about when he fucking honey be. Damn. Fake gorilla mask wearing rapists. 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 Honey, please, honey, be honey, please. Don't send me back to them seagull sweets with lowercase p. That nigga stankin' don't like taking the bath. Daily depressing and stressing, you not know when to have. I know you just took me back, but I ain't too proud to beg. At least let me stick around long enough to boil an egg. Cause I'ma get in the gym and I'ma stop sipping lean. So I can look like freeze. Remember them pictures you seen? I know my tongue lethal, I satisfy you with head. But if I look like he do, I satisfy you in bed. Even though you don't respect me and you think I'm a bitch. And I add insult to injury, I fuck with a snitch. But baby, come on, you know it ain't so bad fucking with Kiko. And I don't even use my balls, I told him he could keep those. And I connected with him in the real place. Had to get to know the main under the gorilla face. He got my skeletons. And baby, you know I'm softer than gelatin, ugly with no intelligence. So I'm too weak to beat him, I can't defeat him. Man, where's my daddy simple when I need him? Fake the will of mask wearing rapists. Damn. Fake the will of mask wearing rapists. Damn. Fake the will of mask wearing rapists. Damn. Fake the will of mask wearing rapists. You bitch. <laughs> Oh my God, the first and actual official, you know what I mean, this in the game. <laughs> oh man, come up in here, hit the like button, man. Let's get to it. Some of y'all wasn't around for that song. Right, they don't even know. They don't even know, man. They don't even know. I understand. Some of y'all just uh came into my platform like some months ago. So you don't even understand the song, and I understand, and you know, don't even worry about it. But for you know what I mean, my uh day ones, you know what I mean, for my individuals, man, they've been with me for some years, you know what I mean. They know power of positive. That's right, and keep it pimpy pimp. Shout out, you know what I mean, the Crip Mac. I don't like what's going on with his situation, but you know, it is what it is, man. But. Blessings to everybody, man. Blessings to everybody again. Yeah, you're going to want to hear this message. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some good information, man. You know what I mean? There's, if you take heed, you could avoid a lot of shit that sin went through. You know, man, I've been here since 2017. Man, blessings to you. Yeah, blessings to everybody, man, that's been rocking with me since then. God damn. Eight years? Nigga, I ain't been on here no goddamn eight years. You probably been rocking with somebody for eight years, but that shit ain't been me. Uh, 
Prophets, what's going on? God damn, that nigga put extra time on there. Next thing you know, you're going to have niggas, yeah, 13 years straight. Like, wait a minute, hold on, partner. <laughs> wait a minute, man. 13 years straight. The fuck, nigga, I was locked up. But anyway, man, blessings that since Lowski, oh my God. If you've been, you been here with me since the days of me and Lowski was going at it, you've been here. You know what I mean? You've been here for a while. Yeah, blessings to me. I mean, well, yeah, blessings. Back with you and Cash and Gangsta Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here before that. But you've been here for a while, though. You've been here for a while. Yeah, you've been here for a while. Whatever happened to Lowski? Lowski, uh, to my knowledge, he's still alive. You know, I don't look at his channel, man, so I don't know. But we're going to keep it real. We're not going to tell no lies. There used to be a time when Lowski was popping. Yeah, it was a time. If we just be real before uh, niggas pretty much found out that, you know, uh, Lowski was a goofy. You know, a lot of people was into Lowski, man. Come on now. Academics, all them niggas was paying attention to Lowski. That's how they was getting all the information. False information, but that's how you had so many goofies talking on the internet like they knew what they was talking about. Because they was listening to Lowski. Real talk. But yeah, he was we're not gonna play no games. You know what I mean? Before matter of fact, Lowski was busting before Zach TV. Rest in peace. Been around since Snooky, not a uh pimpin'. Oh, oh, uh, uh, red. Yeah, some of y'all didn't have information. Y'all didn't have common sense to save your life when I made certain statements that I made. And I be, I be, yeah, sometimes I just laugh when I hear individuals. I'm so confused. Like, God damn, you just like the bitch? You confused? How are you confused? When I said certain things that I said at certain times, or even when I say things now, how, how, how are you that slow? How? And if you're that slow, I'm not going to take the time out to, to hurry you up. It just is what it is. It just wasn't meant for you to understand. Yeah, that bud one was classic. It has no... Oh, man. But listen, grab you some water. Get you some fruit. It's time to get to it, man. Get my likes up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you click on the subscribe. And make sure, you know, you click on that, yeah, hold on, that bell button, which is the notification button. Been here since you roasted and rebuked John, the husband. Oh, man. I ain't on that, man. Blessings to uh, Bud and his uh, lovely marriage. All right, man. But uh, getting right into it. Prophets, man. What's going on? Sally, hey, baby. Um, listen to me. And listen to me good. In this game, I'm coming straight through the door. In this game, you know what I mean? You're going to have... Suck us. Do you hear me? In this game, there's a huge population of suckers. And like I told you earlier, you know what I mean? To be around a sucker for two seconds is too long. In this game, you are going to, especially if you are a cross-country pimp, you're going to see a whole population of suckers. And each and every day, there's suckers coming into the game because these bitches have a free will to choose whoever they want. So the population of suckers is growing every day. Why? Because bitches is choosing every day. Bill, I appreciate the respect. You know what I mean, Brother Salah? I appreciate that. Thank you, beloved. Appreciate that 20. You know, the population of sucker-ass niggas is growing every day in the game because bitches is choosing sucker ass niggas every day in the game. It's so many suckers in the game right now. If they wanted to have, I'm pretty sure if the suckers want to have a million sucker man march, they can do it without a problem. I'm pretty sure they can do it. P of you. How many P's you think? If I, 
the authentic piece, I would have to say, man, maybe uh, if you just talking about the states, but if you talking about worldwide, if I was a guessing man, you know, um, yeah, I ain't even gonna say no number. I just say in comparison to them, man, you know, whoo, completely outnumbered. And it's always gonna be that way because these bitches really don't want pimps. They want something like a pimp, dress like a pimp, talk like a pimp, around pimps, get on IG and talk like a pimp, but behind closed doors, she want a boot thing. Behind closed doors, she don't want the real thing. No, no, she just want to put on the facade as if they the real thing, but she really don't want the pimping. No, no. Get that out your head. These bitches really don't want the pimping. Did you hear what I said? They really don't. Hey, man, I'm talking about the game right now. Get your mind right. Why are you asking me about pimping Ken? Pimping Ken is a married man. Blessings to that guy. He's a businessman. Why are you asking me about pimping Ken? No need to ask me about pimping Ken. I have no nothing against pimping Ken. I got nothing against him. And I got nothing for him. Blessings to Pimper Ken and all his endeavors. But getting back to this game that I never left. Um, yes. Some of you have actually been deceived into thinking that, oh, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, she want to choose. She wants some. No, man. Majority of these bras, man, really don't even want to be in the game. And you could tell because a lot of them even get, when they get frustrated and when they're even talking to each other, Oh, girl, you know what I mean? Uh, tch, it's you that got a record. I don't even got a record, girl. If I could leave the lifestyle and, and, and go get a job. I could still go get a job. I could still go get a career. Just listen to the way they talk. If you pay attention, you will see that the population of square prostitutes is huge. But as far as the population of hoes, real hoes, not going to say no number, but in comparison to the square prostitutes who really just got into this just because they didn't want to work a job, man, you know, it's so many of them. They really don't want to do this. When they first even start off, you know, of course, they fucking with, you know, the uh, turn on folks. A lot of y'all say turn out folks, but a lot of these bitches never even got turned out. So I'm going to say turned on. For they turn on folks, you know, they did a few little car dates. But oh my God, when they finally got with the right boyfriend or the right game banger, the right stranger, or the guy that just thought that she was so gorgeous that her feet didn't need to touch concrete. Now look at that. Look at the way they talk. The track is always being disrespected. The track is always looked at as the, the bottom of the, the, the totem pole. You know, oh, I'm a real one. I would never, uh-uh, no. No, uh-uh, I'm not with the track. No, I just, I don't have nothing against the track. I just, you know, I've elevated. This is what, it irritates my soul when they talk. You know, I've, I've elevated. I'm at another level now. It's like, you know, when I first got in the game, you know, I was doing the track, you know, but now I've elevated. And then you find out, okay, how did you elevate? Oh, well, you know, I'm over there working at Chi Chi's. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm at Chi Chi's. Bitch at a strip club. This is, this is elevation. She doing things that only make her elevate and her elevation is the damn uh, uh, motherfucking hole in the wall strip club. She had Chi Chi's. Oh, I've elevated. Where you at now? Oh, I'm, the, I'm over there uh, at, at, at back door. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, it just opened up. Back door. <laughs> back door strip club. You know what I mean? So don't ask no questions. Just enjoy the game for right now. You know what I mean? Ask me what is it going to be on YouTube or Patreon. That don't even matter. Just enjoy the game. Some of y'all be asking shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing for the time being. I'll let you know. 
LaShawn Pace used to sing a song back in the day called Act Like You Know. Rest in peace to LaShawn. But, yeah, you know, it's like when they get on there on that IG, the track is always constantly being disrespected, like on a daily basis. You got all of these little handsome bitches that you niggas didn't exalt it, and now they just feel like they just, you know. But at the same time, that goes into what I'm getting ready to talk about. It just show you that when a bitch is attractive, when she got some type of markability, you know, these niggas will have praise and worship service for the bitch. You know, I can't even really blame but I am going to blame because this still got uh, some accountability with it. You know, I ain't going to be like you niggas and uh, snatch the accountability out of a bitch hand. But um, as far as, you know what I'm saying, with these broads, you know, disrespecting the track, that's really because of y'all. The bitch a sucker. She's saying sucker ass shit because she was with your sucker ass. You know what I mean? And listen, to the real pimping, especially to the young pimping that's pimping accordingly, to the straight-laced pimps. Hey, man, don't even uh, be involved in them type of conversations, and you don't even want to mix with them type of representation. I don't speak against nothing that got something to do with this game. Never. And for the young pimping, you know you some real straight-laced pimps. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, man, stay with your kind. If you can't find your kind, stay to yourself. Some of you niggas got that lonely shit bad. We gonna talk about that tonight. Certain individuals ran into misunderstandings, you know what I mean, because of that lonely shit. You start kicking it with busters. You start kicking it with niggas that wasn't really possessing what they professed to be. You know what I mean? That lonely shit. You allow the spirit of loneliness to get you into some, uh, uh, you know, situationships, man. I can't even say friendships or so. No, no, no. It's your loneliness. And I'm here to tell you that, man, get, I understand that you want a pee partner so bad. You know, because a lot of you, you know what I mean? You, you still want to belong to something. Some of y'all got that bad. I want you to conform all the way to the spirit of pimping. Leave that game banging spirit alone. Some of y'all still got that so bad. You still want to be a part of something. I want you to understand that that's, it's kind of hoish of you. You want to be a part of something. That's 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 the hoe. She want to feel. She want to feel important. Not actually be, but she want to feel important. Get that shit up out you, man. You know what I mean? I keep telling y'all to even stop saying that goofy shit. Oh man, we the Virginia division. We uh, Ella, yeah 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 yeah. We Naperville division, nigga. We ain't none of that shit. Hollywood started what they started. Let them have that. But I see y'all always trying to create some little clicks and shit like that. Y'all always trying to bring that game banging spirit into this pimping. No. You know what I mean? Hold on. This 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 what I'm talking about right here. Hold on. There you go. Oh, there you go. But yeah, man, you know what I mean? You always trying to bring that that uh spirit of pimping. I mean that spirit of game banging, you know what I mean, that game banging spirit into this pimping. Want to belong to a clique and all of that. No, don't have no clique. Just pimp. Don't be so uh, gullible. Everybody that's talking pimp talk, everybody that got a bitch down, they not just pimping. Every nigga that got a nice, uh, you know, pimpish car or some a pimpish suit, you know, jewelry that might look fly to you. Hey, man, uh, suckers got that shit, too. Oh, let me just kick the dough down, too. See, a lot of y'all thought that Snooky, it stopped at Snooky. And a lot of y'all keep forgetting about Snooky. But Snooky ain't the only one that was working with them people. And Snooky ain't the only one that's, uh, you know, uh, it didn't stop there. It's some people that's working with them people now. Why you think, why you thought that it just ended? Oh, you just thought that was Snooky? No. You got to be careful with the shit that you say out your goddamn mouth. Some of y'all having some conversations with individuals that's working for them people, man. You got to watch what you say over that phone. 
You got to watch what you even say, you know what I mean, in some of these pimp circles. You might be talking to somebody, man, that's wired up and don't even know it. I'm telling you, man, you know what I mean, what, what, what God loves, man. You know, stop looking for a friend and all of that shit. It's some individuals, man, that were saying some things, you know what I mean, the Snooky, they didn't know. Some people did. Some people already felt, felt it in their spirit. Some peas already had discernment, but everybody didn't know. They was looking at the outside. They was looking at the appearance. They was looking at the materialistic things. They was looking at the way that he spoke, the way that he carried himself. And the whole time, he working with them people. And I don't want you to know that that didn't stop then. You know, you got motherfuckers that's still doing that now. And that's why I'm speaking to the straight lace pimp. Stop comparing yourself to drug dealers. Stop comparing yourself to the feds. P, what you mean by that? Man, some of these niggas, man, is working with them people. They breaking on bitches and they sitting over there getting a check from the feds. Why would you compare yourself to the individuals like that? He mixing it to fix it. He got extra uh, extra curriculum activities going on with his currency, man. You know what I mean? Uh, that shouldn't even be uh, sitting over there trying to compare to him. He not a part of this. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? You see in different individuals, they get on these little P platforms on Instagram speaking about the game because they've been around the game. They've been listening to the game from the game. So, of course, if you don't have discernment, just listening to different individuals speak on the game, you will be deceived into believing that this man is authentic, that this man is an authentic representation of the game and a motherfucker working for the feds the whole time. Be careful who you associate yourself with. Be careful who you take pictures with. Be careful who you in a pimp circle with. Do you know what I mean? Seriously. You, don't you understand you got individuals that's in the game right now? Confidential uh, informants. Yeah, I want you to understand that there's, there's uh, Judas the scared ass niggas in every lifestyle. Ours ain't no different. Being around a sucker for two seconds is too long. Once the game reveal. Once the game within you reveals that this is a sucker ass nigga, have no communication. Come out from among them and be ye separate, said the game. Don't have no fellowship with suckers. None. You know what I mean? None. Bro, I'm not even on, I'm, I'm speaking the game. I, I've been knowing uh, of dude. I speak later on. That's. You speaking about somebody that I knew way before that platform. <clears throat> you know, you on some internet stuff. That's somebody that I done met in person down on concrete. But I even take that for uh, example. Yeah, it was a lot of individuals that was uh, side by side with Snooky. With hoes down. But they would allow the appearance to be the interference, you know what I mean? And I can't blame them. If you see an individual putting hoes down, you know what I mean? They talking good, looking good, sharp, you know what I mean? Putting hoes down, you know what I mean? You pimping side by side, you think that you know somebody. But in all actuality, you really don't. That's why I told you it's best to stay to yourself. The game ain't going to give you no big population of motherfuckers that's your friend. That's a, that man, come on, man. That's Disneyland. You don't, you do not have a whole bunch of friends. Get my likes up. You don't have a whole bunch of friends. I've seen young peas get in the game and make some stupid moves thinking that everybody was their goddamn friend. You know, it was a situation and uh, I hope God be merciful to him. You know what I mean? Uh, this was a year. This this was way back, not too way back, but it's some years ago. <clears throat> Young P, some of y'all know him. You know what I'm saying? 
tall, charismatic, you know what I mean, out at Oakland. You know what I'm saying? Was on fire at the time. Really was doing this thing. I ain't going to call his name, but you, you know what I'm saying. You know, it was out that Oakland, you know what I mean? Uh, really doing this thing, man. Tall, slender. Matter of fact, went viral. Yeah, I, had, I took that video down, but some of y'all remember that video I'm talking about when them hoes was fighting. Yeah, that video went 2 million views. You know what I mean? I took that down. But some of y'all know who I'm talking about now. You know, I, I just didn't want to call the name man because I'm only speaking to the pimping, really. Everybody else just ear hustling and getting some game, getting, you know, the food on this table for this game right now. But look, check this out. He was hanging around an individual that was professing pimping. This was another uh, Cali nigga. I ain't seen this nigga in a minute. You know, but I always felt he was, I always felt he was not this. You know, because I had one situation with this dude. Um, this was a time when I was coming uh, down, you know, really doing my thing, man. You know what I mean? On that uh, fig. Yeah, Sam was sitting, man. Listen, I don't want to brag, but yes, I was doing my thing on that fig. This is when Sepulveda was still slightly still cool, too. But... Uh, nigga T. Will sit up there and hit freeze and he was like, yeah, man, uh, some niggas, man, they got offended, man, because they said, you know, sin been coming up and down, you know, uh, fig, you know what I mean, in them limos and shit, and they would be speaking to sin and he don't acknowledge, he ain't acknowledging them niggas. And when, when freeze told me what uh, T. Will said, I was listening, and I'm like, my mind went, I said, I don't even remember no niggas trying to talk to me. But if so, why would some motherfuckers want to uh, think about, because my motherfucker was telling me that niggas was talking about shooting in my motherfucking limo and shit, because I wasn't sitting over there acknowledging them. Oh, man, because I ain't going to lie, I was acting a fool. Yeah, I was acting a fool. Yeah, I was doing shit that you had never even see. You ain't never even see. Appreciate that, bro. Good looking on that five. You know, appreciate the game. But I guess because I'm speaking about suckers, man, you know, y'all having a hard time with that like button. Yeah, I'm speaking against suckers, and y'all having a hard time, you know what I mean, uh, you know, against the like button. Y'all acting like the like button knocked you for the bitch. You know what I mean? Uh, I ain't really getting, you know, the, them likes, them super chats ain't. None of that shit coming again. I tell you, boy, every time I speak against homosexuality, suckers, and everything like that, man, man, it's a fight to get them likes up, man. Goddamn. <laughs> you know, every time I speak against sucker shit, man, like, goddamn, man, that, man, that like button, man, like, man, they don't like hitting that motherfucker. <laughs> but I said, I, I said, um, like, damn. Don't they understand that, man, when I'm out there, I ain't trying to be friends with everybody. That's my whole example. When I'm out there, man, can't appreciate the fire, appreciate the respect for the game. Blessings to you. When I'm out there, man, I ain't trying to look for new friends. I've never been like that. To be 100, I met a lot of niggas through Freeze. Because Freeze was way more friendlier than me. You know what I mean? He's more, you know, bro told y'all that. He more approachable. So you would see Freeze talking to different individuals that I wouldn't even acknowledge. Only reason why I knew certain individuals because they was cool with my brother. Other than that, man, my name's sinful, man. It ain't no goddamn friendship. I ain't trying to be friends with y'all. Where is the bitch? Where is the bitch? I'm not trying to be your friend. Where the bitch at? Where that hoe at, man? Niggas trying to be friends with a motherfucker so I won't sit up there and, and, and motherfucking have something to campaign at that hoe, man. I ain't trying to be friends with you, man. All this old light-skinned, soft-ass shit. Come on, man. Pimp! I can sit up there and get locked up now. None of you niggas going to sit up there and put no money on my books or try to bail me out of none of that shit. I ain't trying to be friends with you niggas, man. I know how you niggas is, man. 
I know you ain't wasn't raised like uh, raised like me. You don't even have certain principles, man. I don't want to be friends with y'all. Where's the bitch? Appreciate that, brother Carter coming in with the twenty. Man, that's the, that name, boy, sucker repellent coming in with the fifty. Appreciate that, fam. But where is the bitch? Niggas trying to be my friend and, you know what I mean, chop it up with me. And at that time, you know what I mean, man, like I said, man, I <laughs> wasn't trying. I wasn't thinking about no nigga, man. I'm having it my way. At that time, uh, during this uh, time that uh, Freeze uh, called me with this, man, I was about 6D. And that's excluding the bitch in Canada, which, you know, my bitch now. But I'm not even including her. That's excluding. I wasn't thinking about them, man. Get at the bitch. I'm not trying to be your friend. You know what I mean? Call freeze for what? <laughs> Y'all just be saying some, some shit. Call, call my brother for what? To confirm what I'm saying? He didn't already told this story. Yeah, niggas was thinking about shooting and seeing uh, limousine and shit because they thought I was, you know what I mean, being snotty nose. They thought I was being disrespectful and shit like that. Man, I ain't trying to be, sit up there and be you niggas' friends, man. I know you niggas don't like me, man. I know you know God that gave me gifts that you niggas don't have, man. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be cool with you. Uh-uh. I know you're a sucker. You know, no, no, no. I know you're a sucker. You know? Mm-mm. No, I know you're a sucker. P, how you know I'm a sucker? I get to see it from your spirit. You know what I mean? That you're a sucker. You even wearing a cologne right now that say suck ass nigga. No, nah, I don't want to be around you. I don't even like the cologne that you got on. Your cologne say suck ass nigga. I'm cool. I'm cool on you. But listen, the young P that uh, from Oakland ended up getting robbed by this nigga that I'm speaking about uh, now. You know what I mean? Because I ended up, you know what I mean? Uh, the little bra get, got out of pocket with me. Long story short, you know what I mean? I had Matt, which is, uh, you know, y'all know Matt from the videos, one with the long hair, you know what I mean? Looking so pimpish and shit like that. You know what I mean? Young little Mac. You know what I mean? No, Matt is not the pimping, but he's the Mackin'. Um, but yeah, man, I got Matt at the time, you know what I mean, with me. And of course, you know what I mean? I'm sitting over there with my, that's like my little bro. You know what I mean? I'm fucking around with him. But the bitch ended up getting out of bounds. But I'm feeling myself, and plus, not only am I feeling myself, you know what I mean, and feeling my pimping, but I got a young, you know what I mean, protege around me. I don't know what, at the time, what he gonna end up being. So I gotta make a good impression. But yeah, the bitch tried to give me the little $6 that was on her, you know what I'm saying? But uh, what the fuck I look like uh, touching that uh, 600? I told the bitch to get it up. I was really showing out in front of bro. Appreciate that respect. Now, if bro wasn't around, then yeah, the baby girl would have got broke on. But I was, <laughs> I was really putting it on thick. You know what I mean? Because I got, man, I got nephew around. You know what I mean? But that was, in, that, that was this dude's bitch. And so when he found out about it, you know, he wanted to get upset and everything like that. But hey, one thing that you would never hear in the pimp game, you would never hear about sinful to pee being pumped. Never in the streets, penitentiary, jail. You just never will hear it. And it's not that I'm tough. It's just that I'm a man. I could care less about where you guys are from, who you killed. All of that shit is cute. I'm from Chicago where niggas kill everybody. They're like all of them little uh, glory stories and shit. Hey, man, say that for a white bitch in the suburbs. Her pussy might get wet listening to all your little murder stories and shit like that, man. But where I'm from, man, niggas get killed every day. That don't mean anything, man. That, man, when you in Chicago, man, you're going to see so many murders. You know what I mean? You, you're going to lose so many loved ones and shit. You know what I mean? You pretty much become callous to it. So an individual telling you how bad and tough they is, that shit just cute, man. It's cute. So uh, make a long story short, he ended up getting young pimping. The same goofy that I had to run in with, you know what I mean? Of course, you know, he was talking crazy, but didn't do anything. 
Yeah, he didn't up no pistol or try to catch no fade with me. No, nah, I wasn't none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put no extras on the story. I wasn't on that with him either. But if he had, if he had decided to get on that, I would have obliged. I would have blessed him. Um, but yeah, man, he did that to my young partner, man. While my young partner, uh, you know, was cross country. Now, this is what I mean by sucker ass shit. Young Pippin had allowed this nigga to stay at his place, you know what I mean, while he was uh, gone doing some cross-country pimping. The nigga said that he was about to uh, leave. He about to go somewhere. But he knew that my partner kept some money up in that place. I didn't know how much it was at that time until basically dude stole it. But, yeah, he ended up stealing uh, 17000 you know what I mean, from... Uh, yeah, my partner out of Oakland is currently locked up and hopefully temporarily, you know what I mean, locked up right now. You know what I'm saying? Took 17000 from him. But the game's so good and faithful that i never forget. You know what I mean? Dude took 17000 from the young pimping. Man, the game came right back around, man. Less than three weeks later, his bitch ended up hitting the lick for, I believe, like 32000 in Hawaii. You know what I mean? That's just how this game be. You know what I mean? Then he ended up having some more beautiful days. You know what I mean? A bunch of sixes and sevens and things like that. He was tearing it up in the Hawaii. The game had just blessed him. He just stayed down. You know? But I'm just here to tell you that, man, we don't, we don't, uh, that could have been avoided. P, how could that have been avoided? Because I had already put the situation out and let it be known that I just didn't like dude vibe. I never thought dude was a pimp. I always thought he was a sucker. So, of course, when young pimper was fucking with him, I said what I said, but young pimper decided to sit up there and still fuck with him. You know, as a result, young pimper ended up losing 17000 That could have been avoided. Another situation that I ain't going to call no names on, but some of y'all already know what I'm speaking on without me saying the names. It's just known stories in the game. Hey, man, when uh, when dude got killed for meeting you-know-who off of Facebook, that was some goofy shit. And young pimpin', listen to me. All of this uh, meeting pimpin', uh, meeting niggas that's professing to be pimpin' off social media, fuck that. Appreciate that, Denzel. Appreciate the respect for the gang. Blessings to you. Glory to the gang. Uh... All of this meet motherfuckers off social media and shit because we've been friends on Facebook. Or, Ooh, man, that's my buddy. He likes my comment. Oh, man, that's my buddy, man. He, he be liking my, my statuses. Dude set up there and met up with that nigga man off Facebook and ended up losing his life, man. That was stupid. Meeting niggas off of social media. A no no. Put your sucker repelling on, man. Stop having fellowship with suckers. Meeting individuals, cause oh man, you know what's the name? Follow me on Instagram. You know he look cool. Man, it's a lot of niggas that know how to make shit look cool on the ground. Do anybody know him? Yeah, Prince, you know what I'm talking about. If I'm saying the right, Amanita. I always, I always get the pronunciation of that wrong. Yeah, I think he got killed on uh, Amamita. <laughs> I know I'm saying it wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because I only been on that blade like two times, man. Freeze was that actually one that showed me uh, Amamita, yeah. You know what I mean? He was the one that introduced me to that blade. Yeah, he was uh, 14th, actually. Oh, okay, okay, that's where he got killed? Okay, okay. You know? But yeah, man, that all became about because the nigga sit up there and uh, met up with the goofball on social media. All of that could have been avoided. Why are you meeting niggas on social media? Meet niggas through the bitch. That's how you meet motherfuckers. Meet motherfuckers in traffic. Meet motherfuckers in pimping. That's how you meet individuals. All of this, uh, yeah, man, you know, uh, I like P because, you know, uh, 
when he go live on Instagram, you know, he be, he be, man, fuck all of that. If you don't know no representation, they can give you confirmation about him being authentic representation in the motherfucking locations of the streets, then nigga, y'all don't need to meet. Just like that. Meet niggas through pimping. Stop meeting people through social media. What are you, a bitch? What are you looking for, a pimp? What are you looking to choose? What you on social media shopping? Uh, you pimp shopping for friends? You know what I mean? Man, I'm teaching now, man. Why y'all be asking me all them dumbass questions? You know what I'm saying? Uh, why I'm teaching. I meant freeze in the streets, nigga. Listen to this message. Stop asking me all that square ass shit while I'm teaching. When I'm coming through with this game, don't ask me no L7 shit. When I'm opening up the phone lines and shit, you know what I mean? Call in and ask me. But stop asking me shit like, hey, bro, where did you meet Gorgeous Dre? Like, who gives a fuck? I'm teaching this game right now. <laughs> the fuck? I met Freeze in the, uh, on the concrete, nigga. That's where I met him. I didn't meet Freeze through no motherfucking internet. Freeze was already, matter of fact, Freeze was already active damn near two months before uh, we met. But yeah, you know what I mean? We met, you know what I mean, physically in person, nigga, in the streets. Not on no goddamn internet, nigga. Neither one of us was on the internet at that time. You know what I mean? I didn't, I wasn't my space in it or none of that shit. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't get on the internet until I got out of prison. Before then, wasn't no goddamn internet, none of that shit. Wasn't nothing but uh, the track, 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 and oh yeah, the strip, the Las Vegas strip. Other than that, that's it. If it wasn't the Las Vegas strip, tracks, that's it. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing but the blades. It was nothing but track, man. I didn't, I didn't have a, a Craigslist dollar. I never collected a Craigslist dollar in my life. So I didn't know nothing about the, the net and all of that. Uh, Freeze was already active uh, with that shit on the internet. I thought that shit, that shit was foreign to me. I didn't give a fuck about no internet because I was really having some money off them blades. All of them individuals that you hear speaking against the blade, ask them what their numbers look like. Some of them going to lie just to save face. But most of the motherfuckers that be speaking against the blade never got paid off the blade. So I understand why their attitude is like that. Some of them individuals that you be thinking that's just the pimpy, uh, very pimpish and just a pimp type of motherfucker. No, man. If, if that motherfucking strip club or that net shut down, they wouldn't know what to do. They don't have no outside game. But getting back to this game, stop meeting motherfuckers off the internet. I'm speaking to the pimping. Stop trying to find friends off the internet. That's not your friend. I hate to say it, man, but some of y'all, man, y'all just like these women. Y'all want to be loved and shit and... <laughs> And care for and and all that old goofy shit. Stop looking for friends on the internet, man. That's not your friend, Goofy. But P, see, you don't understand. You know what I mean? Every time I say something pimpish, he like my comment. Every time he say something pimpish, I like his comment. You don't understand. He been liking my pictures for two years now. Like, who gives a fuck? Meet these niggas through the bitch. Stop meeting these motherfucking niggas off social media. Use that nigga as an example on what not to do. We don't need another situation like that where we lose some pimping or somebody professing to be some pimping all because they meeting somebody that's professing to be a pimp but really just a confused ass nigga that slipped on the motherfucking uh, banana peel and fell into this shit. I'm, I'm giving you something, man, that can save your life. Stop. Goofy ass niggas. Niggas meet niggas off the motherfucking internet. You know, 
And that's another thing you niggas got to look for. That's why, and this ain't speaking against Houston. Because it, 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 the Houston ain't the only place this shit go down at. It go down, you know what I mean, cross country. But a lot of you niggas that got robbed, you stupid ass nigga, that nigga set you up. It's some shit, man, that if I was to tell some of y'all about, you would just shake your head. Certain niggas got robbed with certain niggas to make it appear as if basically they wasn't the one that set that shit up. And these is niggas that's professing to be pimps. But they cool with different jack boys. And they put their little jack boy friends on game just to let them know when Big Pimpin' was in town. And that shit has went down, man. It's so many motherfucking stories in this game. This shit's so motherfucking treacherous, man. Niggas talking all of that pee shit, doing all the nursery rhymes. I mean, they got rhymes for days, baby. You just would think that this nigga is like, man, this nigga is like the pimping. This nigga is really the pimping, man. That nigga said Apple Jacks, he want a Snapple, he don't want an Apple. That's when I knew he was the pimping. He said, bitch, bring it back. Give me a stack. I want nothing but racks. Yeah. P, how you know he was a pimp? Man, he said he H-Town bound still around like a greyhound. And that's when I knew. I was like, whoo. Some of you niggas just like these goofy bitches. Falling for nursery lines. Because a nigga saying nursery lines and he got a collar. He, 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 looked pimp. he looked like a pimp. He talking like one. Well, you think he look like one. You think he talking like one. He really sound a damn fool. Hey, man, let's get my likes up to 700. Yeah, we got 930 people up in here. Get my likes up to 700. Everybody hit the like button. But yeah, you know, he talking that shit. You smiling and everything, not even knowing that he's setting you up. He cool with different jack boys. You know, he cool with different jack boys. He cool with different motherfuckers that's getting ready to rob your ass. And he going to get robbed with you so it can appear, you know what I mean, that he, he was just like you. He got robbed just like you. That these niggas really just robbed the pimping. But see, this wouldn't be happening, man, if you wasn't trying to have friends all the time. You know, stop allowing everybody to know where you rest your head at, too. That don't go just for these bitches. That go for these niggas. Stop allowing everybody to say P, P, P. Hey, P, what's going on? P, P's. Hey, P's. Stop letting them niggas come up in your house. Because you understand me? When them niggas come through there to steal your jewelry or anything that's viable in the place, just know you got set up by them. Hey, P. Hey, P. You niggas be just like Biggie and Warner. No, love wouldn't disrespect. Yes, love would. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, that's P, my, my partner. That's my P partner. P wouldn't disrespect. You know what I mean? I didn't say them, but yes, them too. You know what I mean? Keep your eyes open, man. Stop being a fool. Don't be gullible like the bitch. I t that's why I be telling you, man, open up your seventh eye, your perfect eye, your sanctified eye, your game eye, and see people for what they really are. Look past the physical appearance and start looking at the spirits. Start looking at the energy. Start looking at the demonic and satanic spirit that individuals is governed by. You know, you don't want to be... Too you don't want a lot of friends because, see, when you get cool with individuals, it throws off your judgment. See, now you done got a rapport with them and now you're cool and y'all done laughed and y'all went here together. Y'all did this and that and that. And so now when he do some sucker shit, you trying to look past it because y'all cool now. Be like, oh, man, you know what I mean? That's what, man, we just, we went to the mall. We just sweated bitches together. We, we campaigned. We... We, we did this, we did that. So, so when now, when he do some sucker shit, you trying to look past it, 
You know what I mean? Because appreciate the respect, man, of the game. Appreciate the you trying to look past the sucker shit that he did simply because y'all got some cool little so-called P memories and shit. Fuck that. I'm telling you, as soon as you see some sucker shit, cut that nigga off. Cut him off. Because when some sucker shit go down, you can only blame yourself. Because God allowed you to see it firsthand. And you looked over that. It was this one P man out of Milwaukee. He was doing his thing in Chicago. But his problem, just like a lot of y'all, you know what I mean? He wanted friends. He wanted to be cool with certain people. Not understanding that you guys be motherfucking eating at the buffet in front of niggas that ain't even eating the crumbs from the salad box. Did you hear what I said? You niggas be eating at the buffet table in front of niggas who not eating crumbs from the salad bar. It's inevitable what's going to happen to you. Niggas is hungry and you ain't even feeding them. And that's a true statement in the streets. Niggas is on, man, listen, man, niggas is only faithful and loyal to you as they last meal. When was the last time you fed them? Motherfuckers don't care if you fed them in ancient times. What about recent times? What have you fed me lately? You know what I'm saying? That's just how this, these, these streets is. And so this one P man, you know what I mean, that was doing this thing out that Milwaukee, man. You know what I mean? He was in Chicago, you know, doing this thing. You know, he used to stay six or seven deep and things like that. You know what I mean? He was having some things, you know. It was some things about his character, you know what I mean, that it was a little, a lot shady. We're not going to, you know, look past that part. But for the most part, I can't deny that, you know what I mean, he really used to be about this P at different times. You know what I mean? But the reason why he's expired, the reason why he's no longer with his head above ground and he's not with us today is because he got too friendly with the wrong niggas. He allowed the wrong niggas to be around his hoes and to see how his operation go and things like that and see why he was counting money and talking all that pimp shit. Niggas was wearing that cheap perfume called Jealousy, fantasizing, you understand me, about having residences and them different hoes pussy and shit. See, he talking pimp talk and they sitting over there looking, they looking, you know, like jealous ass motherfucking squares. Like, damn, I wish I could fuck that bitch. Man, this nigga ugly, man. She should be fucking with me. Always remember, man, that it's in a man's nature. Whether it be pimp, whether you're a pimp, trick, square, whatever the fuck he is. He just might go sucker about it or he might be a real nigga about it. But however he go about it, always remember that every man want to be the man. Even the males that, you know, profess to be, every, all of them want to be the man. So it just might start off with some sincere admiration. But that admiration, that verbal glorification, you know what I mean, to end up turning into some jealousy, man. Animosity, man. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers is, uh, yeah, communicating with you, associating with you just so they can assassinate you, man, because they really want to be you. They want your life. Every man want to be the man. So, you know, uh, of course, you know, uh, he was allowing them uh, motherfuckers to come up in his place. He was going different places with them. And he think he got a squad. He think he got, you know what I mean, some niggas that really fuck with him. And, you know what I mean, he think that, you know, if he ever get into a situation that he can sit up there and call them and they going to come through and all that. The whole time they plotting on, you know, how they going to get him out of there. You know, they plotting on how they going to get him out of there, man. And uh, that's what they did. They got him out of there. As a, re as a result, he's dead. But that could have been avoided if the nigga wasn't sitting over there trying to look, look for friends and all that goofy shit and bringing these niggas in his place and, you know, showing jewelry and talking all of this pimp shit and counting money in front of them and showing hoes and all of that shit. And you know why? Because a lot of y'all want to be glorified. Some of y'all going to end up being in the penitentiary for a century because you want to be glorified. Some of y'all going to go to that last destination called the graveyard because you want to be glorified. 
It's your desire for vain glory that's going to end your story. That's going to be your demise. That's going to be the reason why you met your expiration date before the appointed time. Your need and your desire to want to be glorified. You know, that's going to kill your operation. That's going to kill your whole movement because of that moment that you want to have for vainglory. So as a result, he's dead. As a result, I already told you about the guy, you know what I mean, prior to him, you know what I mean, that meet niggas off social media and shit. He gone. You know what I mean? His funeral was nothing to talk about. Noth nothing to talk about. You know what I mean? The goofy that he met was trying to manipulate Pimpin so Pimpin wouldn't even show up. Still to this day, you know what I mean? Pimps, they have they what they have in their mind like, man, I think such and such, such and such, such and such happened. Because they know that something ain't right about the situation. You know what I mean? The whole situation was just unpimpish. But guess what? It would have never transpired if niggas wasn't sitting over there trying to uh, have friends and so thirsty to have a pee partner. You know? Hold on. D, appreciate the respect for the game, man. Appreciate that five. One of my protégés. Love him, man. Love little bro. Still love him. But he did some sucker shit, so I had to remove myself from him. Hopefully, you know what I mean, he can reconcile and, you know what I mean, uh, come to the altar of the game, man, and repent and get himself together. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, man, when you do some sucker shit, you know what I mean, sin going to separate. Sin ain't going to answer the phone for you. Sin ain't going to respond to text messages. Sin ain't going to respond to inbox messages. It's this another young P, you know, I still love dearly. But he couldn't separate himself from suckers. You can't tell me that you fuck with me and that you honor me and that you tell me that I taught you this and I taught you that. And the reason why you got this and that is because I taught you this and that. And you hanging around individuals that you know that I don't fuck with. You, hang, you hanging around different individuals that then set up there and evangelize lies on my brother's name. So if I see you taking pictures with suckers, if I see you fellowshipping with suckers, I can't have no company with you because you want to be friends with everybody. Adrian, appreciate the 10. I don't like being cool with everybody that's cool with everybody. I don't like being cool with nan nigga that want to be cool with everybody. I have a problem with that. Why, you want, why do you have a desire so bad to want to be wanted, to want to be, you know, cool with everybody? Man, fuck that. I'm not trying to be cool with you. I respect the fact that, you know, some of you niggas is pimps. But who told y'all that all of us got to like each other? We just got to have a respect that you some pimping. I respect the fact that you some pimping. But I ain't trying to kumbaya with you niggas, man. No. You know what I mean? When motherfuckers like, why he ain't show up? Or why, why would I? It's even some of like the events that certain motherfuckers be having. I don't agree with what's going on. So why the fuck should I come? Certain niggas be getting awards. You know what I mean? For pimping. I didn't think that. I don't think that you deserve that. So why the fuck should I be here? If certain niggas is getting certain awards for doing this and doing that, and I know this is a lie, and I don't agree with that, why the fuck should Sinful the P be here? This is a waste of time. Again, I am cool being cool with myself and the few individuals that I'm cool with. I'm not trying to have a whole bunch of friends. I don't need a clique. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not like that. That's why the game could always use me in the capacity that it used me in. Some of my greatest messages, some of the greatest game that ever was ministered to me was when I was by my motherfucking self. Some of the greatest revelations that came to my mind, some of the greatest outstanding understandings that I got was when I was by my motherfucking self. 
You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be a part of cliques and divisions and no, man, no. Uh-uh. It's not that I don't like certain people or have, you know, respect for certain people or honor, give honor what honor is due to certain people, but I ain't trying to be friends with everybody, man. I'm not that type of nigga. You know, I'm not that type of nigga. Like I said, certain people would have never had the opportunity to know me if it had not been for my brother. My brother is more approachable. My brother, you know, he tends to talk to people that I would never talk to. I would have never talked to them. That's why you see certain individuals, yeah, man, I fuck with Freeze, man. I don't fuck with seeing anything. That's because I don't fuck with them. It wasn't so much that they don't fuck with me. I just don't fuck with them. I never thought that some of you niggas was the pimping. But Freeze would say certain stories, and it was like, ah. You know, how you think Clyde even got in? Do you honestly think that Clyde would have been my P partner? You know what I mean? That I would have just, no. I met Clyde's buster ass through Freeze. I'll never forget too. And he had, oh my God, the nerve. I never forget, man. We was uh out there campaigning. We stopped at the store. We seen him. I had been seeing seeing him around. I seen him in Vegas a few times. He was always looking dusty then. But you know, uh, we end up seeing him, and Freeze was like, "Yeah, uh, Pete, this my uh partner, man. I met him at such and such, such and such. You know what I mean? This is discipline, cause this is what he was calling himself. Why? Why? I don't know why." Because he has nothing to do with discipline. <laughs> but the nigga said, you know, his name was discipline. The Pimp and Clyde shit came later on. But he introduced himself as discipline, which he has no discipline. That's why the shit is crazy to even <laughs> as I think about it now. You know? But if it had not been for my brother, I would have never been cool with dude. I would have never been cool with dude. Honestly, and I know some of y'all are going to be like, damn. Damn, P, that's how you is? Listen, man, I hate to say it, but this is the truth. Y'all always laugh when I say it, but I'm dead serious. You know, I have a racist spirit against ugly people. See, ugly people is a race. And ever since I was a little boy, I really never got along with y'all. The older I get, you know what I'm saying? I'm deal with y'all better. You know what I mean? I'm able to communicate with you guys now. You know, God is blessing me in the ministry. I'm able to uh, uh, pray for you now, fellowship with you. You know what I mean? But in times past, you know, I was racist towards ugly people. I didn't want to sit up there and, and fellowship with you, you know, uh, be your friend. You ugly. What, 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 like, why are we cool? You know what I mean? Why do you even look like this? There's a reason why God allowed you to look like this. So I, <laughs> I shouldn't be your friend. God is omniscient. He knew that you was going to look like this before the foundations of the world. And he still allowed that shit to happen. So why the fuck should I be your friend? I was racist towards ugly people. You know what I mean? The game, you know, had to sanctify me. I had to evolve. To the point where I got cool with y'all. And this is cool to because when I make that transition into the ministry and get involved in spirituality, reality is that I'm going to have to minister to a lot of y'all. Pray for you, lay hands, everything like that. I have to, it's some ugly people that's going to be in the ministry. So this is good. I'm evolving as a man. But in times past, I didn't even want no dealings with y'all. Especially even with, you know, Man, if, 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 you, if you had missing teeth and, or if you had fucked up teeth or you just had a demonic look about yourself, a sinister type of look, I wasn't trying to be cool with you. I'm over here looking like a human being. I'm over here handsome and, you know, I got the, the best com complexion in the world. I'm brown skinned. You know what I mean? The best complexion in the world. And then I got the nerve to have two dimples. I'm over here handsome than a mother. Man, I want to be your friend. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Hell no. God didn't bless me to be a handsome pimp, man. I, I, man, I don't want to be cool with you. Uh-uh. 
No, no, no. You got some bullshit on top of your neck. You might fuck around and laugh. And I might catch you laughing or smiling, and it might fuck my whole mood up. I didn't want to be cool with y'all, man. Real talk. So, no. You know what I mean? Uh, if you had a devilish, satanic, sinister look about yourself, if you just look like you know you as a rival gang against showers and shit, no, nah, I wasn't trying to be your friend. Uh-uh. No, no, no. You guys got me fucked up. No, 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 no. But see, because Free said again, and get my likes up to 800. Everybody hit the like button. You know, but because Free said that he was a pimp and that, you know, he had moved around because I got the wrong impression of him when I was in Louisville and I had to check him. And this is before we even got cool. But I had to check him. Y'all even, those that's on my Patreon, y'all see what he said. You the only, you one of the few men that I'll take a chopping from. Yeah, because I stayed chopping his ass. P, what you mean chopping him? Rebuking him, reproving him, correcting him. Because when I even first, uh, when we first started even talking, he was paying for a Greyhound ticket to get, to, uh, get a chop to him. A fucking chop. This is a chop prostitute. And he's paying for a Greyhound ticket to get a chop to him. So right then and there, I thought he was a buster. You know, but Freeze was fucking with him. You know what I mean? You know, Freeze, my brother, you know, Freeze be on that light skin shit. You know what I mean? So, um, make a long story short, y'all done heard this story a million and innumerable eternity, motherfucking infinity, motherfucking beyond times. Um, but to just basically put certain people on game that basically don't know, uh, yeah, man, if it wasn't for my brother, man, he would have ended up going to prison. Why? Because he would have never got bailed out. So he would have lost time in his life. He would end up going to prison. He would have done prison time if God wasn't, if God didn't use freeze. All I did was supply the money, but the money was only supplied because uh, you cool with Freeze. So really, it was Freeze really that was the blessing. Because if it had not been for my brother saying that you was a pimp and that he fucked with you, I wouldn't have did what I did. You know what I mean? But I'm showing you that things happen. We ended up getting cool. And this is what I mean by when you get cool with somebody... Knowing that, you know, oh, man, that was some sucker shit. P, what you mean? Okay, I'm going to give you different examples to show you that it's my fault. It's not Clyde's fault. It's my fault. Clyde has been always a sucker. He didn't just turn into one. He was, he was, he been a sucker. He been a veteran sucker. That was my fault. But I'm going to show you, you know what I mean, why it's sin's fault. Because the moment that he got bailed out, as soon as he got out, he accepted the bitch that left him high and dry in jail. The same bitch that took his car and chose up with another motherfucker in the game with some money in his car. He took the bitch back with no fee, no nothing. So it was right then and there, I should have been like, oh, man, this is not no pimp. This is a guy that feels like he's lucky because only a guy that feels like he got lucky, only a, a motherfucker that's really whole hustling would do some shit like this because a real pimp, you know what I mean? Would have just stayed down till he came up. So it was that situation. Then another situation where I was basically firing a bitch and letting that bitch go. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and, and I can see it in Clyde's eyes that he wanted to campaign at the bitch. I said, man, hey, man, go, hey, hey, go get her. He like, oh, no, P, you know, she, I'm like, nigga, fuck that shit. Go get her. Go campaign that. I can see it in your eye, nigga. Campaign at the bitch. And so he go out there and he get at the bitch and he going to tell this bitch. He like, oh, man, you know, Sam want to keep you down on the blade and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, But see, you know, I know you want to just, you know, fuck with the Internet. You know what I mean? And you, you can God is my witness. If I'm lying, you know what I mean? Ask Freeze. He'll confirm everything. He said, he said that he let the bitch know that 
You know what I mean? I ain't gonna send you to the blade. You can just fuck with the internet with me. You know, that right there, I should have known, you know, to cut them off. But because we cool and have some P memories and all that type of shit, I look past the sucker shit. You don't do that. To the pimpin' that's listening right now, don't do that. The moment somebody show you that they a sucker, believe them. You would be a fool to sit up there and to keep associating, you know what I mean, yourself with somebody that has shown you that they're a sucker-ass nigga. You cannot blame the sucker for being a sucker right now. Why? Because the sucker showed you that he was a sucker and you're looking past the sucker shit. So you can't be mad when some sucker shit go down pertaining to you. We just got to keep that shit real. That ain't, that ain't that nigga fault like that. That's sinful fault. Motherfucker showing you that, hey man, you, I'm a sucker. Hey man, I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. Hey, 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 I just did some sucker shit. And you keep looking past the shit. Hey man, you can't, you can't, hey. You can't, you can't get mad at nobody but yourself. So for the young pimpin' that's listening, listen. No matter how many states y'all pimped in, no matter if you gave this nigga bitches, if you didn't bail this nigga, no matter what transpired between y'all, the moment that some sucker shit go down, separate yourself immediately. Separate yourself from sucker shit. Don't let your name be involved in no sucker shit. As soon as some sucker shit go down, complete separation. Because if you don't, that problem is going to exacerbate. It's going to get greater to the point where now, you know, you only thing you can do is just shake your head, just like me. When he did all that bitch ass shit that he was doing on the Internet, I mean, re and realistically, of course, I was upset, you know, here and there. But when I really thought about it logically, that wasn't his fault. That was my fault. That was my fault. Because you allowed this sucker ass nigga in your house. You, you allowed the sucker ass nigga to parole at your house. You sat up there and fed this sucker ass nigga. You gave a uh, hose to him. You put him on your platform and legitimized him. You did that. That's your fault. So don't uh, repeat my history. Use me as a proverb on what not to do. The moment that you see any type of sucker shit, any type of shit that's contrary, any type of hypocrisy, separate. Separate. Separate yourself instantly, immediately. You know what I mean? You don't want to be involved in that at all. So, you know, given other, you know, examples, because I'm telling you, man, there's a huge population of suckers in the game, and young P, you don't need to be uh, mixing it, associating, campaigning with, none of that. You know what I mean? Some of y'all are gullible. Some of y'all are very impressionable. And, you know, by you being new, anybody can tell you anything, you know, because you don't know their history. So a lot of you are allowing suckers and hypocrites, you know what I mean, to talk to you like they're a big old P because you really don't know their history. You know what I mean? You don't know the demand history. Just like, okay, it was one individual I had to separate. We used to campaign together. We done been in like, let me see. We done been in six states together. But the reason why I had to separate myself from this clown, because this individual knew that this bitch had put me up, but not only put me up, Man, this bitch didn't set up there, man, and told on seven Ps all together. Some of y'all remember when BP used to be up in here. BP even confirmed it. She even set up there and put the people on BP. She put the people in BP business. Come on, man. She didn't told on pimps cross country. And for me to find out that this nigga had the bitch... During the whole time, he caught, man, I'm showing you how tre treacherous this game. Man, listen, man, 
the man calling me every day. Hey, P, what's going on with you? And all of this shit. He talking and chopping it up with me the whole time. He sitting over there presiding on the bitch that had me in jail. <laughs> Tell you, boy. In the future, man, when I come out with my shows, I come out with my shit pertaining to the game. Man, they think power is something. Man, power ain't got nothing on the motherfucking real experiences and shit that be happening in the pimp game. Nothing. Always remember when a bitch is involved, it's gonna be some deceitfulness. It's gonna be some, it's gonna be a lot of, you understand me, uh, you know, cunning shit going on. It's gonna be a lot of crafty shit going on, man. But yeah, man, he was calling me, man, what's going on, people? Woo, woo, woo. We have a normal conversation. The whole time, he got the bitch. This is the same bitch that um, I thought everything was cool. Some of y'all remember this. I came back to Vegas. You know, this has been a while. I've been out of Vegas, man, for, I want to say, like six or seven months. And I came back to Vegas. And as soon as I come in the Cosmopolitan with Freeze, it wasn't even 300 seconds. I wasn't even, it wasn't even 300 seconds later, you know what I mean, security, Metro police, you know what I mean, was all on me. Yeah, he knew she did that, Prince. You know what I mean? Yeah, he knew that. Come on, man. You know what I mean? We was, we was cool at one time. I put him on game and I just put him on game. I made it known. Plus, I made it known in PT. You know what I mean by PT. Yeah, I blasted it to put the pimping on game. And once I put, put the bitch out there, the government name and everything like that, man, there was so many P's like, oh, man, yeah, she told on whoop whoop. I wish I would have known, P, I would have told you. Yeah, she told on it. Because this bitch think, the bitch that I'm speaking about, she think as long as she don't show up to court, that she not a snitch. P, what are you talking about? She will call the police on you, tell the police that you pimping on her, Tell the police that she's been breaking herself. Tell the police that she's been going to the track. She's been doing this and that. She would do all of that. You know what I mean? And after she sit up there, you understand me, and do all of that motherfucking shit, she's not going to show up to court. And because she did not show up to court, she think that she's not a snitch. No matter how many statements she done gave on niggas on the pavement, the bitch for some dumbass reason think, that the snitch word don't apply to her, you understand me, simply because she didn't show up to court. She acted, this, oh Lord, you know, the mind of a bitch. But uh, the whole time, he got the bitch. And so one of my partners, you know what I mean, on the west side, you know, he not no pimp, but he, you know, he got some macking with him. Um, so, you know, he more of a gangster. He called me. He say, hey, man, what's going on, Sin? Where you at around? I'm like, man, you know, at the time, you know what I mean? I was uh, out there in Charlotte because I was staying in Charlotte at this time. And he say, uh, yeah, man, uh, didn't you say, you know what I mean, that little white bitch, ooh, I know that little white bitch had you know, uh, made a statement, man, and got you arrested, man. You know, Freeze got arrested, too. You said y'all got arrested in the Cosmopolitan. Didn't you say her name was, you know, woo -woo -woo -woo? for those that don't, you know, her first name start with a B and her last name start with a B. <laughs> you know, BB. Her last name is Burke. Yeah. So, okay, um... Yeah, man, you know what I mean? I think I see the bitch down. He said, you won't believe who she fucking with. Woo, woo, woo. He been having her for a little minute. I'm like, so he put me on game, man. That shit fucked me up. But, hey, man, it's like that song saying, nothing to cut that bitch off, man. Hey, man, I immediately, man, separated. I separated. Yeah, I separated, man. You know what I mean? Because you sitting up there calling me, trying to chop it up with me. But the whole motherfucking time, you sitting over there sending the bitch that had me in that motherfucking can. So, yeah, I had to separate, man. We ain't been cool ever since then.
Yeah, we ain't been cool because, like I told you, you know, to be around a sucker for two seconds, man, is too long. And that don't just apply to niggas. That apply to bitches, too. Yeah, a bitch can be a sucker, a, a sucker too. P, how can a bitch be a sucker? Hey, if she a snitch, she's a sucker-ass bitch. I don't want to be around her. Being around that bitch for two seconds, man. One second, really. You know, that's too long. That's way too long. I don't want no money from no snitch. I don't want to be around no snitch, bitch. I don't care nothing about her being a beautiful-ass blonde. I don't care about what type of markability she got. I don't care if she checking two to three racks a night. I don't want nothing to do with her. I don't want nothing to do with her. Her money's no good. I don't want it. Get my likes up, man. There's too many things that were said in this video, you know what I mean, that need to be touched, man. This video need them recommendations. It need them notifications to go out. By all means, hit the like button. You know, abstain and refrain, man, from bringing around suckers. You know, but yeah, it ain't just the snitching either. You know, if a bitch, if a bitch ain't going hard for her kids, she's a sucker. I just told y'all that not too long ago. I told you, man. Stop having dealings with these bitches, you know, that's in the game. The bitch got a, a, a whole child or children staying with her mama. Or worse, she got the, the, the child in a damn foster home. Bitch ain't going, she, she won't even go hard for her child, you know what I mean, that's on, uh, in a, on a foster home. Child in a foster, uh, in foster care. Child might get molested. Child can be raped at any time. Child can get touched inappropriately. And she won't even go hard for her goddamn child. Man, that bitch a sucker. I don't want to be around her. If you can't get, if you can't find motivation in that, if you can't apply this game to strive to be disciplined just knowing that your child is in foster care, if that don't sit up there and compel you to be a better woman, if that don't compel you to sit up there and get this money to fix your image up, you know what I mean, so you can have your child back. Man, I don't want to sit up there, you understand me? Uh, I don't want to be around your punk ass. Bitch, you's a sucker. You won't even go hard for your child. So I know you ain't going to go hard for this pimping. I know you ain't going to go hard for this game. It's a waste of time. Any woman that don't, and then you got to even look at that. Now, I understand that when a pimp holds and dolus and when he going through it to get to it, you know, these be some fucked up times. But always, you understand me, think about the mind frame of this female that professes to be a woman that would be, she just, she met you off the internet. She does not know you. You have not physically met her. She, y'all had a few conversations in an inbox or a DM. You have a conversation on the phone. And now all of a sudden she's willing to lose, she's willing to uh, leave her child, she's willing to put her children up or her child to her mama or her sister or her friend so she could go sit up there and come be around an individual that she just met on Facebook for less than 24 hours. Look at the mind frame of this bitch. Now, like again, like I said, you know, we be in some fucked up situations sometimes. You know, a pimp be going through ups and downs and turnarounds and things like that. You know what I mean? So, you know, bills, uh, you know, uh, bills, you know what I mean, uh, um, is due. The car note is due. The rent is due. There's so many things that's due. So, you know, a pimp got to make a way out of no way. You know what I mean? I understand that. But even when a pimp got to make a way out of no way, man, I always remember you know, the mind frame, if that bitch just sit up there, you understand me, and leave her child, why, why are some of you getting upset, you know what I mean, that the child is, I mean, that the bitch is leaving you? If she left her child, why you thought that the bitch wouldn't leave you? Some of these niggas done paid for Greyhound tickets for brides like that to come to them and then got mad when the bitch blew up. The moment that, you know what I mean, some pimping or some simping, a game banger or a stranger said something to her. She don't even have any type of love for the child that she carried around for nine months. Why did you think that she was going to have any, uh, you know what I mean? Why did you think that she was going to have, you know what I mean, any type of faithfulness, you know what I mean, to you? How? Why did you think that? You know what I mean?
So again, you know what I mean? And let me just come with this uh, 100 all throughout the door. If a bride sit up there, you understand me, and tell you that, oh, well, you know, all I need is, a, and I've been telling y'all that, I've been telling y'all that too. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got it just common sense. If she tell you that she need a Greyhound ticket, a plane ticket, nigga, don't you understand that most in most cases, sometimes that Greyhound ticket be less than $100? You mean to tell me as long as this bitch been sitting up there living, she can't sit up there and ask a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a, a cousin, a Ralph Trez van ass nigga, you know what I mean, for money to get that G-Hound? That speaks volumes about who the fuck she is already. The fact that you're talking to somebody that, and we ain't even talking about no young bitches. We sometimes this be bitches that's over 30 years old. She over 30 something years old, fam, and she don't have enough money to afford a Greyhound ticket. This is speaking volumes about this bitch already. Now, of course, I've given game to you niggas. You understand me how to get that bitch to you without even using no money anyway. You know, but. I'm just showing you that nines out of 10, she's a sucker ass bitch. Come on now. She couldn't even borrow. She couldn't even borrow money to get a G hound ticket. Nines out of 10, man. Don't nobody fuck with her. And they got good reasons on why they don't fuck with her. And you shouldn't fuck with her either. Her own family don't fuck with her. Her mama don't fuck with her. Everybody ain't fuck with her. Kids don't fuck with her. It's a reason for that. It's a reason for that. You know what I mean? You just got to pay attention. You got to stop just, you know, uh, like, yeah, man, I hear you, P, but, man, I'm holist and dolist right now. You know what I mean? And I understand what you're saying, but my room is due. You know what I mean? I'm a day behind. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But I'm here to tell you, you know what I mean? Just keeping that thing all the way 100 with you. Uh, yeah. It's a good chance that that bitch might come to you doing some sucker ass shit. It's a reason why her family ain't fucking with her. Yeah, it's a reason why this bitch can't even get up $100 or 100 and something, you know what I mean, to get a, a G-Hound ticket. And this is speaking volumes. You know what I mean? Warning come before destruction. Hold on for a minute. See this text this bitch did. Okay, cool. Me. There you go. And you know, um, so like I said, it ain't just sucker ass niggas, it's sucker ass bitches too. Another thing, you know what I mean? Um, if a bitch tell you that she gonna do something and she don't do it, leave her alone. Did you hear what I said? If a bitch sit up there, you understand me, and tell you she gonna do something and she don't do it, leave her the fuck alone. She said she was going to send that money. She said she was going to do this. And she didn't do it. And you keep talking to her. She ain't the only sucker. Did you hear what I said? If you keep talking to a bitch after you didn't gave her instructions to do something, or she said she was going to do something and she didn't fulfill it, and you kept talking to her, that's because you a sucker too. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? It ain't just one person playing. It's two people playing now. If a bitch said, yeah, you know, I got, you know, uh, 2,000, and you said, send it to me. And the bitch said, okay. And she don't send it to you. She don't have a reunion at Western Union, or she don't cash app it, or she don't take that account number and go to the bank and go make it happen. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and you keep talking to her after that? You a sucker. The bitch ain't the only sucker. You a sucker with her. The bitch ain't the only one playing. You playing with her. Because the moment that she didn't fulfill the instructions that was given, the moment that she didn't fulfill what came out of her mouth, and she's still able to call you. She's still able to text you. She's still in your DM. She's still able to follow you on IG and all of that type of shit. Nigga, you playing. And that bitch know you playing too. You're not serious about your shit. You're not serious about your peep. Yeah. 
That's why the bitch keep hitting you with the verbal without doing anything physical. That's why the bitch keep hitting you with the, the motherfucking Wendy Williams and, you know, the, the, special, the, the Tasha K instead of the 10K, the 20K, 30K, 40K, and 50K. She hitting you with the Tasha K. She hitting you with the gossip. She hitting you with conversation. She hitting you with the verbal. But not doing nothing physical, you know what I mean, to obtain and maintain your attention. No sacrifice being made. I'm here to tell you, man, listen to me and listen to me good. When you tell a broad to do something and she don't do it. See how that just got quiet right there? That's the only thing that's supposed to take place after that. P, what do I say after that? You're supposed to say this. When a bitch, hey, when a bitch don't do what you told her to do, the only thing to say to her after that is this. Nothing. <laughs> because the bitch didn't do nothing. You pretty much giving her the same communication as the accumulation that she gave you. Nothing. As one songwriter said, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. That's the only thing I got to say to you. Nothing. You didn't do nothing, so I ain't got nothing to say. Stay away from these sucker-ass niggas and stay away from these sucker-ass bitches. Being around a sucker for two seconds is too long. Have no fellowship. Have no company. You know what I mean? Another thing that I'm going to touch on, you know, like I, when I said don't take no pictures, yeah, if you know it, some of y'all be knowing that certain individuals are suckers and you still shaking their hand. Some of y'all be knowing that certain niggas are suckers and you still taking pictures with them. And you ought to feel ashamed of yourself because you're enabling a sucker to benefit off of the true benefits of a P. P, what you mean? All I did was take a picture. You not knowing that when a sucker get to take a picture with a real one. When a sucker get to take a picture with authentic pimps. A bitch that's impressionable. A new booty ass bitch. A bitch that was born in the States but still got her green card. Is going to look at this picture with her green with her green ass, with her rookie ass, with her novice ass. She going to sit up there and look at this picture and think that this nigga is a real one. Why? Because he's in the picture with real ones. So if he's able to sit up there and have, you know, pictures with, you know, uh, uh, different pimps at players, balls, and, you know, oh, my God, don't let him have... You know, a picture, you know what I mean, with different pimps on the blade and all that type of shit. He's able to look at statuses of real pimps, take words from real pimps. And then now he can take, you know, uh, different things that he's learned from different pimps. And now he's pretty much saying the same damn thing and posting them pictures. And now you bitches think that he's a real one. You think that he's a real one now because, oh, well, he got to be a real one. He got a Benz. He got a few pieces of jewelry and, you know what I mean? And now, uh, you know, he, oh, wow. He, oh, he's got a picture of what's the name? The dude that made that one song. Oh, he got a picture with, oh, wow. He got a picture with, the, that's a legendary dude. I seen this one in American Pimp. So he got to be, you know what I mean, a real pimp. He got to be. He just has to be, you know, that's why you don't take pictures with suckers because when you take pictures with suckers, you enable suckers to have a pimp's reward. These bitches can't tell the difference between authentic and fraudulent a lot of time. They can't tell the forest from the trees. That's why suckers is getting choosing fees. Stop taking pictures with suckers. We don't take pictures with counterfeits. Why? Because taking pictures with counterfeits enables counterfeits to reap off the benefits of this game. We don't do that. 
A sucker shouldn't be in a pimp circle. A sucker shouldn't be in no pictures with real ones. You know what I mean? A sucker shouldn't be able to sit up there and fellowship amongst the real. Not at all. Sucker shit. Oh, man, I'm about to go another route that I didn't even know I was about to go. That ain't nothing but the spirit of this pimp. It wasn't even on my mind, but it's on my mind now because the game gave it to me. Some of you know about certain individuals in the game, not that there's many, but I remember one time when there was one individual in the game, and this wasn't no hearsay. This wasn't no rumor shit either. You know, you actually had, you know, bitches saying, you know, that they had got a sexually transmitted disease from this individual. And that this individual actually gave them a sexually transmitted disease. Multiple bitches. Do you hear me? Multiple bitches. So it wasn't no rumor. It wasn't no hearsay. This wasn't something to uh, come together to assassinate this person's character. It was kind of like a known thing that this person had a sexually transmitted disease that was deadly, that he was passing around. And individuals were still fellowshipping with dude. Individuals were still campaigning with dude. Dude was still able to come amongst different circles. Not mine, but he was able to come again, uh, come around certain circles. He would have never been able to come around me. You know, not at all. Because even before I found out what I found out, you know, man, I just, you know, you know how you just don't like certain people? I just didn't like them. P, why you didn't like them? I don't even know. I just didn't like them. You know? I'm just a person like that. You might be like, man, P, mean. Man, not that I'm mean. I just don't like everybody. You know? I don't like you. You know? I don't have to have a, a, a motherfucking, you know, significant, meaningful reason on why I don't like you. I just didn't like you. You know, and then come to find out this shit right here. Oh, man, I see why I don't like it. But I'm just saying as far as sucker shit, yes, I would have to agree that I would have to put it out there that if you know somebody got a sexually transmitted disease and you know that this person is still active in the game and you still fellowshipping with this individual, yes, not that bullshit that they tried to do with Freeze. You know what I mean? I'm talking about some authentic shit, some irrefutable shit. I ain't talking about no jealousy shit, you know, like they was jealous of my brother. You know what I mean? Trying to find a flaw, you know, took one of the most, if not the most healthiest pimp and tried to uh, spread lies on the man's name as if that was going to start, you know, stop anything. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about some actual factual shit. You know, because he's been faced with this. You know what I mean? And, you know, uh, when the authentic says something to him, you know what I mean? He didn't defend himself very well at all. You know, at all. So it's pretty much a known fact. So for this individual to be able to come around amongst crowds, I would have to not only say he's a sucker, but I would have to say the individuals that allow him to come amongst their circle and take pictures and all that type of shit, they suckers as well. That's why it's best to stay to yourself. That's why it's best to keep it cool, you know, chuck up the deuce and keep it moving. You know, that's why a pimp's place is in a hoe's face. A pimp's place is not trying to have a bunch of friends. You know, because a lot of y'all got the buddy system going on to the point where some of you niggas ain't doing no pimping. You don't got a bitch. Some of you never had a bitch, but you're claiming to be a pimp. You know? You claiming to sit up there, you understand me, and be this pimping, and you have not, you ain't never had a whole horn. So if you never had a whole horn, how are you this pimping when you never done any pimping? 
There's no such thing as I'm a I'm a pimp in my own mind. That's a that's a cute song, but that's not reality. If you do not have a hoe that's doing some hoeing, you're not doing any pimping. And I've explained that to the T previously in other messages when I told you guys that if a guy got 10 years or more and if he's known uh, for some pimping, if he's had different families uh, in the game that he's presided over, you know, and he's known and respected, you know what I mean, by the authentic, um, if he's temporarily going through it, that don't mean that he's not a pimp no more. That just means that he's a pimp that's going through it. He's currently and temporarily not, he don't have the ING to his PIMP, but we're not going to take his identity. We're not going to take his ministry. We're not going to take his capabilities, you know what I mean, away from him. But if he's just a, some green ass nigga that slipped on a banana peel, you know what I mean, uh, don't got no history. You know what I mean, don't nobody really know the guy like that. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if this nigga some pimping. So, you know, if he ain't got a bitch, you know, nine out of ten, it's probably because his run is over. You know, so we got to wait and see, you know, uh, what what he going to do in the game. You know, some guys, you know, had a two-month run. Some suckers had a four-month run. Some had an eight. Some actually had some years. And once it was up, it was up. But it wasn't that he was a pimp. It was just so happened that he had some broad that was marketable. And she gave him a profitable time because she wanted to have a good time with him. You know, and once his time was up, his time was up. The run was up. But he never was no pimping. You don't have to be a pimp to get a run. These bitches give runs to Crips, Bloods, GDs, BDs, you know, niggas that sell DVDs and CDs. Man, these bitches give runs to everybody. These bitches give bankrolls to light poles. These bitches sit up there, you understand me, and hit licks for tricks, you know? Hey, uh, mode or culture. Hey, I already know who that is. I know you didn't change your name and everything like that, but bitch, shut up. You be running your mouth too motherfucking much. When the pimp is sitting over there teaching this game, bitch, stop sitting over there uh, coming up with five motherfucking, you understand me, paragraphs in two seconds. Bitch, when I'm speaking this game, stop speaking about all of the subjects that ain't got nothing to do with what the fuck I'm talking about. You changing your name, that don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? What's wrong with you? Get your mind right. And, and, and I was just waiting for one of the mods to sit up there and, and, and rebuke you wisely. But I guess they felt soft tonight. I guess my mods, you know, uh, might be trying to knock you. Uh, you know, maybe one of my square mods might be trying to fuck you or something. So they just keep letting you say all this goofy shit, you know what I mean, in the comment section. But bitch, shut up. God damn. You know what I mean? I had to sit up there and come through the dough because... If I ain't come through the door, you were just going to keep on just talking and just saying shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Bitch, shut up. And that's sometimes what a bitch need, a man to just tell her to just shut the fuck up. Amen. Praise God. But listen, you know what I mean? Stay away from sucker shit. My bad. I was texting some women just now. Yeah, Bill. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, what's happened to my death row security? Man, death row security, man. Then turned into security from for vanilla ice. Yeah, y'all, my security tonight was as good as uh, the security that vanilla ice had the night. You understand me when Suge came in there with his security. His vanilla ice security didn't even matter. They set up there, you understand me, and <laughs> made the boy do exactly what they wanted him to do, even while his security was there. Yeah, so I didn't have death row security tonight. I had that vanilla ice security. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Shout out to my niggas, though, man. You know, as a matter of fact, we got shit that we, other shit we got to talk about. But I just wanted to put some game. I just wanted to put some paint where it ain't and say what most can't, man, about this game and give you guys some clarity and show charity at the same motherfucking time, man. Stay away from suckers and busters. You know what I mean? Sometimes the signs be right there and we be looking over it. People that's on my Patreon, I tell you, I posted it earlier. You know, it was a post that Clyde put up some time ago when we was cool and he was giving me, you know, acknowledgement and everything like that. 
And anybody that used to pay attention to his lives back in the day, you know, he always used to call me the anointed one. But, you know, on this particular day when he was speaking, you know, uh, he said our relationship, it reminded him of David and Saul. And in my mind, it's like, damn, man, was I that cool with him? Did I look past this shit when it was staring me right in the face? Did this man just give us the comparison of David and Saul, even though, you know, I can see some similarities with him and Saul, even though Saul was the man. Saul was once a man of God and once the anointed uh, king of God. But anybody that know the story of Saul and David, Saul was jealous of David. Saul was jealous of the anointing of God that was on David's life. Saul at first had admiration for David. He, he loved David, but as time went on, you know, the people was flocking more to David. You know, because David liked to praise God and magnify God in song. David had some characteristics uh, about him, you know what I mean, that was different than, you know, any others. And then when the people said, man, Saul killed a thousand, David killed 10,000. You know, that bothered Saul's ego. Saul was an egotistical man. And that bothered him. You know what I'm saying? And as a result, Saul ended up losing his kingdom. Saul ended up losing his kingdom because number one, you know, he didn't, he didn't have obedience to Yahweh. Every time God gave him instructions, he always put the people above the instructions of God. You know, yeah, man, there's so much to learn within that because some of y'all are putting, you know what I mean, the, uh, the, the uh, bitch desires above the game, you know? Then some of y'all are putting the bitch desires above your principles as a man. Then some of y'all are disrespecting the principles of God, you know what I mean, to obtain and maintain this woman. This woman ain't doing nothing. She ain't making a goddamn sacrifice to maintain you in her life, but you breaking her, you breaking your back. You making sacrifices. You leaping over walls and running through troops to maintain this bitch, and she ain't doing nothing to maintain you. That's backwards. You know? But yeah, he compared us to David and Saul, and I was like, God damn, how could I just walk over that like that? Man, there was so many warning signs, but you can only blame yourself. But take this message, you know, warning come before destruction. Some of you are involved with some suckers. And I'm telling you to come out from among them and be ye separate. Separate yourself from that sucker or them suckers. And when I say that, I ain't just talking about niggas either. Some of y'all got some bitches that's cancerous. And that's why you're not victorious. That's why you're not prosperous. Because you keep holding on to a cancerous situation with this bitch. Let, go, let that sucker ass bitch go. Being around her for two seconds is too long. <laughs> Do me a favor, man. You know, if you can, man, get my likes up, man. Make my likes touch a thousand. You know? Yeah, let's get them likes up to a thousand. Since we got a thousand and seventy-five people up in here, you know what I mean? Make them likes, man, touch you know what I mean? Over a thousand. Everybody hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and make sure you click on the bell. Man, I didn't even mean to stay live this long. I promise you, I only wanted to be live for an hour, man, because I, I had another video I wanted to do, man. Goddamn. I guess it just be like that sometime. You know? Now, I know some of y'all want me to get back to the celebrity shit, and, you know, we're going to get into... You know, what's going on with the celebrity world and all of that type of shit like that. You know, but I had to do this because, man, it's been so many young pimps that's been texting me, calling me in my DM, saying, man, you know, uh, I understand, you know, what's going on with Kevin Samuels and, you know, all the celebrities and shit like that. But seeing, man, get back to this game. Get back to this pimping, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I had to sit up there, man, and... And come back and it's so many much more to come because what I just did, man, I can pretty much do that all day and every day. You know what I mean? It's so easy. You know what I mean? To sit up there, man, and come with this pimping, man. You know? But uh, I love you guys, man. Hey, hey, seriously, man, let's get them likes up. 
And if you're not subscribed, oh, and you definitely want to come uh, to the Patreon. I'm, I'm not done. I'm about to sit up there and actually post some more shit uh, tonight. You know what I mean? But uh, blessings to everybody. I appreciate you for coming through. Uh, and thank you once again, man. You know what I mean? Stay away from suckers. You know, I want to see you obtaining and maintaining. So you got to stay away from people that don't want to see you obtaining and maintaining. Oh, and also stay away from motherfuckers that be making jokes on the sly. But honestly, they really mean that. You know what I mean? You laughing and the whole motherfucking time, you know what I mean? They, they, they really mean that. Seeing what you mean. Hold on, let me slip this in. You know, motherfucker might sit up there and be like, man, you, he be getting all the bitches. A oh, man, I don't want to be out with this handsome nigga. Or I don't want to be out with this fly ass nigga, man. You know, he going to take all the bitches. Or, man, he always woo woo woo. You know, you think he playing, but he really not, though. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, you got to pay attention when people be making jokes. They just be, they be laughing, but that's really they, the truth speaking out. You know what I mean? It, but they just conveying it in a comical way. But anyway, man, love you guys, man. You know what I mean? Got to go.